Don't let these puffy eyes fool ya. These are the eyes of a well-rested man. Good morning, everybody, and it is a good morning because I got a great night's sleep thanks to my new pillow. This is not a paid sponsorship. This is just something funny that I want to talk about here. Let's rewind, uh, I want to say maybe like six months ago. I need your help. What I've been doing for years is take extra clothing and extra stuff sacks and anything fabric I have and I make a pillow. Every time I go out, I don't ever bring a pillow. I don't even own a pillow. I want to give it a try. Put your recommendations in the comments below on what backpacking pillow I should get. This was always my pillow. This is uh, my clothing bag. So on this trip, this would have been sufficient because I didn't use half the clothes that I brought. But I, I wanted to live the world of luxury a little bit. So I reached out to you guys, had you recommend uh, all different kinds of pillows to me. Uh, some on the lighter spectrum, some on the more luxurious spectrum. I actually bought a uh, Trekology Aloof 2 pillow. It's like a blow up, kind of a... I, I think of it as sleeping on a balloon. It does the job, it attaches to the pad, it's not terrible. This is my favorite one that I got so far. And I kept seeing in the comments, my pillow, my pillow, my pillow, and I just kinda kept replying, saying ha ha, you know, it's funny, this and that. And then somebody actually replied and said like, no seriously, like my pillow has a roll and go travel pillow that's great for backpacking. So that sparked my interest because I've never heard of this one before, so I had to look it up. But I thought that was hilarious to bring a my pillow on a backpacking trip. Now this would not be like for long distance backpacking. This is a little bit too heavy or a lot a bit too heavy. My Trekology pillow weighs like under four ounces and that's honestly kind of heavy for a pillow in my eyes. This one comes in at 10.25 ounces. That's 290 grams and the kicker the thing that makes this awesome is the price so these are only 25 bucks you can see the pillowcase has a little pocket here where it just kind of rolls up into its own pocket let me do a real crappy job here uh, the, the one thing I really am not quite sure on on this pillow is the pocket because it doesn't like to stay in it real well if I if I roll it really tight it'll stay in I just did a terrible job but it'll it'll go a little bit smaller than this if you roll it properly if you have the extra pack space and you have have a light pack to where you can bring luxury like the trip I'm on right now uh, everything I brought was very very lightweight I have a, a 40 degree quill like everything I have is very light and small so I had extra room in the pack threw in the more luxurious pillow and wow I slept amazing last night this pillow is awesome you can't help but smile when you look at this thing this is just a comfy happy pillow and this pillow well if you can call it that. This is just sad. Using a clothing bag as a pillow can sometimes be great, but other times it is just absolutely terrible. If you're like me and a lot of times you don't bring a ton of clothing backpacking, the inside of your pillow looks like this. Now this has happened several times where I pretty much have a stuff sack for a pillow made up of other stuff sacks, uh, maybe a microfiber towel, usually about one pair of extra socks, and just more, more stuff sacks. So I really think this is a, a good option for like luxurious backpacking trips like this. I just wanted to spread the word on it a little bit because it's better than an air pillow. Any pillow with air in it, I feel like you get the balloon effect. Now there are obvious benefits to using a blow up pillow over something like this more traditional pillow here. Some of these blow up pillows can actually be very pricey. I think the Sea to Summit pillow is around the price of the Nemo pillow. This is the Trekology Aloof 2 pillow. This is a very affordable option and it definitely has perks over the My Pillow. It's cheaper, it's lighter, it packs smaller. Now in my opinion, all of these blow up pillows are not going to have the comfort of a traditional pillow. They are all gonna somewhat have the balloon effect, which does actually provide a benefit, which I'm gonna get to here in a second. But another tip that I learned, put like a t-shirt or any type of uh, clothing that's really soft over top of it as kind of like a pillowcase. Now in the area where I think the blow pillow really triumphs over the traditional pillow, other than pack size, weight, cost, is just how much it's compressing while you're sleeping. The My Pillow does compress down pretty small while you're sleeping on it. Although it's a pretty standard traditional pillow, it doesn't quite have the loft of a real pillow that you're gonna be using in your bed. So it's a little bit on the thin side, which is probably not the best for side sleepers. When you're sleeping on your side, you have this entire area from your shoulder to your head that you need to fill up, which is what the blow up pillow really excels at in my opinion. So this one's gonna give you just a little bit more loft. It's gonna keep you up off the ground a little bit higher 
than the my pillow which is actually what i i dislike about these the most i like flatter pillows i like harder pillows i really have to deflate a lot of air out of it uh, to be comfortable and then when i deflate a lot of air out of it my head kind of sinks in the middle of it so i found that these definitely aren't quite my cup of tea except this is definitely something i would bring on a more long distance more weight conscious backpacking trip definitely not going to bring the my pillow on anything super long because this does weigh about eight ounces more than this. This being four, this being over 10 ounces. That is a lot of weight just, just for a pillow. That being said, sleep is one of the best things to invest in on a trail, so maybe this is worth it. I think the most popular pillow that people bring that's um, of the same-ish weight as this would be the Nemo Philo. That pillow weighs 9.2 ounces, so it's slightly lighter, but it's also like a foam, a blow up pillow hybrid. I've never used it, but it's also like 40 bucks So it's almost twice as much as this and you could only get that one in four colors This one you can get in like 30 different colors and yes, I picked the flamingos I thought it was the most ridiculously stupid looking pillow. I just thought it was hilarious So I had to get the flamingo pillow this this is awesome I was trying to find other pillows similar to this and what I'm finding is a lot of them uh, are heavier and sometimes more expensive climate Drift Camp. It's $10 more than this at $35, and it comes in at a staggering 19 ounces, so it's like almost twice as heavy. Another one is the Kelty Camp Pillow. I don't exactly remember what that one weighs. I think it's really similar to this. It's actually $5 cheaper. Thing is with that one though, just looking at reviews and looking at it, it didn't seem like it was a real pillow. Like it seemed like really kind of flimsy. This is a legit real pillow. You can see it's got the My Pillow logo all over it. So you can take the case off to watch this. I actually used this several days in my bed at home before I came out. I just really wanted to test it. And this pillow is great. I literally just had one of the best nights sleep I've ever slept in a tent. Now the case on this, it's not the most comfortable, like soft material but it, it really didn't bother me, but I just thought that it definitely could have been softer. So if you're looking for a good backpacking pillow that's lightweight and doesn't take up a lot of pack space, this probably isn't isn't it. This is more of a car camping or like a, a luxurious camping like this. But I do think this has some advantages over the like more popular, bigger luxurious camping pillows. So I want to compare this a little bit against the Nemo Philo just because I feel like it's the, the biggest competitor of this one in my mind. And there probably is other pillows out there I'm not talking about at all. This is the one I have, so this is what I'm going to talk about. So the Nemo Philo is going to pack up way smaller. Because it's an air pillow, it's got a valve for adjustability so you can really uh, tone in exactly how you want the pillow to feel. Although it leads me to wonder if it has the balloon effect of other blow up pillows because the foam on it is only this big. Now the my pillow, the pros list is awesome. Like number one, you don't have to blow it up. Number two, packing it up, just roll it up and go, pretty easy. It's way cheaper than the Nemo and it's way cooler looking because you can get these sweet pillowcases for it. Balloon effect could definitely be a possibility with the Nemo Philo, but like I said before, excellent choice. Probably if you're a side sleeper and you need that extra loft. Very rarely do I turn on my side to sleep, but I did test it out a little bit and fell asleep like that uh, in the morning. And this was sufficient, although I will say probably not gonna be sufficient all night long. That being said, just throw a piece of gear under it, whether it's a raincoat or your backpack or anything to just lift it up off your pad a little little bit more get a little bit more loft and I'm sure this would still be a better option than any blow-up pillow as long as you're okay with carrying a 10 ounce pillow Nemo Philo $15 more than this one ounce weight savings but I'm gonna say what I say about all other gear that people rant and rave about that I don't own and that is it probably f sucks. If you guys get any value from videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that little notification bell. But I got all the time in the world today, so I'm going to lay back down here, take a little nap. Hopefully my tent will dry off a little bit by the time it's uh, time to go. But I just wanted to talk about this pillow a little bit. I'm just really excited about it. It's a fun, fun piece of gear that uh, is just going to make me sleep great out here. So thank you guys for watching. Leave more happy comments down below, and I will see you on the next one. My flamingo pillow. But I'm gonna say, but I'm gonna say about the Nemo Philo probably sucks. Probably f sucks. But I'm gonna say about, but I'm gonna say, but I'm gonna say about the, it probably f sucks. Probably f sucks. Probably just f sucks. But I'm gonna say about the Nemo Philo what I say about all other popular gear that I don't know. It probably.
probably just sucks! <laughs> <laughs>